The first step is to take your foundation. Today I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in Caramel and I'm going to be using that on a foundation brush to get a light to medium coverage. I'm going to be spreading out a nice even layer. And also, since I don't plan to use concealer today, I will make sure to pay extra attention to the discoloration on my eyes, especially in the corners. Also, make sure to get your ears when you're doing foundation so that they don't have a different color from the rest of your face. Next, you're going to want to set your foundation. Today I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Paris Hydro Effect setting powder in medium and I'm going to be using it in another place separate foundation. Also, I'm going to make sure to pay extra attention to the places where I crease, that being my under eye, the side of my nose, where my laugh lines are, and where my dimples are. Instagram baddies always have amazing eyebrows. I'm going to keep mine kind of natural by drawing a line on the bottom, then a line on the top following my natural brow shape. And then, with whatever is left on the brush, I'm going to bring it through my eyebrow and I'm also going to work on pushing the front of the eyebrow up for more definition. To make sure the look is very nice, I'm going to make sure to outline the eyebrow underneath and blend it out with my beauty blender. Taking the lightest shade in my Morphe palette, I am going to set a bit of color over my whole eye. And then with a darker shade, I'm going to define my crease to add definition. To blend everything together, I'm going to use a peachy brown and blend it over my crease and over my lid. And then I'm going to go with a very light gold shade and I'm going to put it in the center of my crease and blend it out all the way across. With whatever is left on the brush and also dragging some from the corner, I'm going to bring it under my eye and then I'm going to move on to eyeliner. I feel like a lot of Instagram baddies do eyeliner so I'm going to use my own Wet n Wild H2O proof. I'm going to start with drawing a thin line and taking my time as I bring it out. Um, this is real time how I do it. I think I could have done better but I'm really not used to it because I don't do it very often. So I'm going to bring that line out, and then I'm going to connect a smaller one from the top to the bottom. And then using very small strokes, I'm going to be sure to fill it in. Most Instagram baddies do wear false lashes. Since I am not a big fan, I will just be curling my lashes and coating them with a layer of mascara. The mascara that I'm using today will be my Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara in Black. It is very good for lengthening and it is the one that I normally reach for. Since we did put eyeshadow on the bottom, I'm also going to redefine my bottom lashes. Next, I'm going to start a bit of contouring. I'm going to use a method that I learned from Edward Avila. Four points. I start at the... Um, eyebrow bone and then drawing a straight line you go down and you draw it also i'm going to be putting a bit of contour on my bottom lip to make sure it looks very pouty because a lot of instagram baddies have bigger lips and then with whatever's left in the brush i'm going to blend it out going straight down i'm also going to add a bit on the tip of my nose to shorten it and with my finger i'm going to make sure that all the products blend it out now I'm going to move on to my blush. I'm using my Milani blush in two rows. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to try and put it high up on my face and blend it back because I feel like rosy cheeks are just so beautiful. And for a youthful look, I'm also going to brush it across my nose. Now I'm going to be highlighting with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow and Blossom Glow. I'm going to be taking on the high points of my cheeks, on the tip of my nose, and in the center so that my nose doesn't look muddy from the contouring. And I'm also going to put that under my brows. Since an Instagram baddie's makeup always looks very flawless, I'm going to take my setting powder again 
and blend out all the powder so that it looks very flawless and silky. Since having wet lips can sometimes mess up matte lipstick, I wiped off my lip balm before applying my Maybelline Color Sensation Toaster Truffle. It is one of my favorite nude shades and I'm going to be applying that. A lot of Instagram baddies do have nice lip colors so I thought this would really go along with the whole It's me, Lee. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really like this look. I had a lot of fun doing this. Normally I don't do super beat looks, but uh, this was fun. <laughs> this was so fun. And uh, if you decide to recreate this look, you can uh, show me on my Instagram right over here. I'd be happy to see. Thank you so much for watching the video. I love you guys so much and bye. Nobody